Welcome to a brand new video, dudettes and dudes. Just got to keep my entire audience in check. So this integral is pretty fancy pants if you ask me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do my plus one, minus one trick. So I already know how to solve this integral from top to bottom. But like if, a, if you're in a real integral situation, just give anything a go, man. You, you can't go wrong for at least giving it a try. Not an easy integral. So plus one, minus one, yeah? So what's this? This is going to be equivalent to the integral of x to the fourth plus one over x to the fourth minus one. I, I, sorry, I'm going to include the minus one, sorry, obvious reasons though, plus the integral of one over x to the fourth minus one dx. This is dx. So cancel, cancel. This is going to be x plus. Sorry about that. That's plus. So x plus the this integral right here, 1 over x to the 4th minus 1 dx. Cool. What now? Well, let's just forget about x for now. I'm going to write him up here. I'm going to write, remember, x. Cool. I've given myself a mental note. So, let's integrate 1 over x to the 4 minus 1. So... I'm going to use a little trick. We know how to um, factorize this because it's a factor of our uh, difference of two squares, yeah? So if I let x to the fourth equal a, so like a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So if I use x to the fourth power, it's going to be x squared plus 1 because 1, one to the power of anything is just 1, man. So and then this is going to be x squared minus 1. So, let's rewrite that integral. So, the integral of 1 over x to the 4 minus 1 is now 1 over x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1. Like this dude over here. And the best part is, this is the difference of two squares again, so we use the exact same rule. So, now it's going to be x plus 1, x minus 1. Cool. Cool. So let's do that. So let's apply that. So the integral is now the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 1, dx. And now let's split it into a series of partial fractions. So this is going to be ax plus b over x squared plus 1 plus c over this dude over here plus d plus uh, divided by this dude here. So I'm almost going off the page, but big deal, big whoop, yeah? So how do I know that this is ax plus b? Because if you have a denominator, it's to the power of n, the numerator's degree of x is to the power of n minus 1. So this is technically c times x to the power of 0, and this is d times x to the power of 0, because this is x to the power of 1, yeah? So n minus 1, yeah? 1 minus 1 is 0. But to the power of 0 is 1 by definition. Just a little bit of a history lesson for you fellerinos. So now, if I multiply the whole expression by the denominator, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to get 1 is equal to um, ax plus b is going to be multiplied by everything except this. So ax squared plus b. And then this will be multiplied by x plus 1, x minus 1, plus c multiplied by everything except x plus 1. So that's x squared plus 1 x minus 1 plus d multiplied by everything except x minus 1, so that's x squared plus 1, x plus 1. And in the next half of the video, my friends, because this video is going to be very long if I do the whole partial fraction decomposition, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. In the next part of the video, I'll solve for these and I'll solve the integral. See you later.